Hey, it's me again. Have you been missing me? All right, I have one more SOC to show you. And this one is the new thing. Also one of my favorites, and this is Samsung Tizen. All right, now Novisan has an, a, uh, uh, an app which supports a Tizen 4 or above. All right, so this is what we see here. I'm going to show you how to install it. Some of, of you might be afraid of Samsung. No worries. I'm going to show you how simple it is and how fast it's going to be. So first thing, first thing, I want to show you this. All right, you see this little thing? This is a mini keyboard mouse. Cost only 15 US dollars in Amazon. It's going to make your life easier. That means there's also a keyboard here and a mouse. Left mouse button, uh, sorry, left mouse button and right mouse button. Uh, I'm going to use it. I don't have to use it, but it's going to make my life easier. So it's actually work on wireless. So I have this little dongle over here. All right, I'm going to connect it to the TV. Just right here in the back, there's a, a USB port. Actually, there's only one USB port. So I just plug that in. There it is. All right, I'm turning this on. And before we start, this TV already works. So I'm going to factory reset this TV. And this is something that you should know because if you need to turn your TV from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait, you'll have to factory reset because that's the only way to change the screen orientation. And that's what I'm going to do now with a Samsung remote control. Um, so to do that, I need to access a special menu. I'm going to press some sequence, which is mute 182. And let's see what will happen now. Okay, I will try. Let's see if it happens. Yes. See that menu? This is a special menu. I'm going to press OK on the option. And the first option here is factor reset. I'm going to press the enter here in the remote control. And again, now it's being reset. It's being power washed. And I'm going to get a TV almost the same like uh, when I got it uh, packed from the shop. So, I can now press the on button, which is the red button, and the TV will start. All right, let's, here it is. Okay, so the first step, I need to choose my language. You see, this is like a brand new TV. I'm going to choose English. I'm going to use the remote control for that. So, I'm pressing, this is the enter. Now, I'm going to choose basic setup. I'm not going to clone anything. Now it's time to choose the orientation. I'm not going to choose portrait. I'm going to choose landscape. And very important to remember, turn off this screen saver or power off. You don't want it because if this is a digital sign, you want it to run 24 seven. All right. So now it's actually looking for a wireless, but I'm going to connect the internet over here. All right. Using this. Now it should get internet. See, it tells me wired connection. You can actually work both hardwired or wireless. So in this case, it's hardwired. And now, very important choice I need to make here and I'm going to choose the URL launcher not the magic info which comes as a default with Samsung Tizen but URL launcher because I'm, I need to choose the NoviSign app now I need to type the URL if I do that using this uh, remote control is going to take me a lot of time so I'm going to do I'm going to use the mouse keyboard all right so let's do it like that HTTP S column slash slash app dot novisign dot com. By the way, for the white label partners, we also have it as on signage. That means you'll need to replace the word novisign with the word on signage. And after that, slash WAP, all right, with double P, slash Tizen. 
This is it. Very simple. All right. Okay, I did it. Now, next thing to go to the next step is not necessarily pressing enter, sometimes it's pressing the right arrow. Let's do it. See, I just pressed the right arrow and not the enter. Now, RM server, I don't, I'm not interested in that. I'm going to skip it. Clock set, all right, this is something I have to do. So let's choose the date. Today, today is the third of February, actually. 20, 20, 21. All right, enter. And then I need to choose the time. Now the time is, let's say what the time is. 13, I think. Let me see what the time is. Hmm. All right. Okay, it's 2.10. 2 and 10 minutes. All right. Okay, I press enter. And now let's press the right arrow again. Now I've completed the first step. I need to press done. And now it's gonna take me to the home screen of the Tizen. Now, how does the home screen of the Tizen look like? You're gonna see very soon, there's that button bar just right here. And the two important icons which you would like to know of are the URL launcher settings or the URL launcher. Now there are two ways to install the, AP, uh, the app. One is Let's show you how, uh, where is that, okay. The first one is using the web app. I already typed that URL and I just need to choose this one. That means to click enter, but I would like to show you another option, which is by discount key. If I go to that URL, I can download a zip file. It's called sssp.zip. And I can need to open that zip file into a folder, which is called sssp on the root of any discount key, USB stick. And then I just uh, gonna stick it over there in the TV. But since there's only one USB port, I'm using this one. All right, it's a kind of splitter for uh, USB. So I'm gonna just stick it just right over here. See, I'm taking that little dongle and let's put it over there. So now I have two things connected to this uh, splitter. All right, so let's do it like that. Now, and I'm gonna choose the URL launcher. Install. I also have this option, install from USB device. This option wasn't there first. It appeared only after I connected the USB stick. So I'm gonna choose it. I'm gonna press enter. You need to set up a pin for a better security. Okay, I'll set it up now. And let's choose something nobody will be able to guess, such as one, 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 one. You wouldn't imagine that, huh? All right, install web app. Now it's being installed. From that is on key, installation is complete. Piece of cake. And now the app is going to start. Actually, because I already had it pre-installed before, it remembers the previous screen key. So that's why I didn't put it now, but if that was the first time, then I'll show you what would have happened. If that was the first time, I would have had to type the screen key here. At the moment, you cannot log into your user account, choose a screen or a, sc a screen key like you can do in the um, Android APK, but we will soon add this functionality. So you'll have to type it, of course, typing it using this mini mouse keyboard does the trick. Um, auto start, but, and look over here, we also have settings, all right? This is based over the HTML player app. Uh, also the LG, the LG app is going to be based on the same one. So if I click this over here, we can actually, I'll do that again, sorry, I was clicking too fast. 
I can access the settings and I have a lot of settings here. Usually I will not change most of them. Maybe just the one with the notifications. Uh, I'll make sure that nothing is turned on. So enable notification will be turned off because I don't want to see any notification on a real a live uh, digital sign. And after everything is ready, uh, I just need to press play and it downloads the content to the cache of this Tizen device, Tizen display, and that's it. But look again, because I have this panel, I can actually go forward or backward in the creatives, okay? I can navigate, I can even pause it, see? Just like that. And if I don't want to see that control bar, I can even hide it. I just need to go to the display setting and check the display touch control. That's it. So this is the Samsung Tizen. Like you've just seen, uh, the installation process was very fast. Maybe a little bit long for you because I just like to talk a lot, a lot, a lot, and it should be much faster. So thank you for watching. Let's move forward.